it's a great time to live in Hazel Park. Thank you, Mayor Parisi. I'm City Manager Ed Klobuchar. Behind me is the future home of Mabel Gray. Mabel Gray is the brainchild of top chef James Regato, one of the top chefs not just in Michigan, but in the entire Great Lakes region. We are so excited to welcome James Regato and Mabel Gray to Hazel Park. This is just one of many new developments that we have that we're so excited to share with you today. My vision for this restaurant is to return to the stove. I really want to create plates that are expressive of the season, are expressive of myself, my point of view, Hazel Park, Detroit. I basically want to open up a restaurant that feels like you're at my house. Uh, I'm in hospitality and beverage and food is kind of a focus. So the best food and beverage that I can cook and procure, but in an environment that's comfortable and, and friendly and, and pretty much a place you can walk to, ride your bike to, um, just any way you want and really be blown away with food. I'm standing here in front of House of Shamrocks, one of Hazel Park's longtime signature businesses. House of Shamrocks owner Mike Wilds has caught the redevelopment bug as well, and he has fantastic new plans to expand his kitchen and revamp his menu. House of Shamrocks has been a mainstay in the city of Hazel Park, and it's really been one of the businesses that helped put Hazel Park on the map. Detroit, Metro Detroit, pretty much Michigan. It's always going to be blue collar, we're always going to be four seasons, we're always going to be winter boots and construction boots and white t-shirts. I think that restaurant scene should reflect that. We have the best products that I've ever seen in the world or the country, and I think our food should reflect that, or our culture should reflect who we are as a people. And that's, that's really what Mabel Gray is about, is being expressive of Michigan. Here's what we have to say, and I'm saying it in his apartment. I chose Hazel Park for a number of reasons. I used to live in proximity, so up on 11 Mile and John R, so in Madison Heights, which to me is kind of a, almost like a sister town, very similar vibes. And I kind of fell in love with, with the area, the personality, the, the attitude. It's, uh, it's just quite you know left and center, and I think that it's supposed to be. Hazel Park has a lot of opportunities, a lot of small buildings, a lot of existing businesses. I, I, Pies Thai and, and Louie's Pizza are some of my most frequented businesses in, in Michigan. And it's bicycle friendly, it's a uh, resident, uh, packed and rich culture. It's just, it really is a blank canvas. Oh, I'm just excited to, you know, make it, make it a better place for people, you know. And hopefully that, uh, you know, the more businesses come down here, the better for the city. You know, I think at some point in time, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make something pretty good here. And, about it. I'm standing here in front of Hazel Park's Kroger store. The Kroger Corporation recently invested $5.6 million to renovate this store. They added 16,000 square feet to the shopping center and that expansion helped to create new jobs and investment in the city of Hazel Park. Thank you Kroger for investing in the city of Hazel Park. Another project that we're very excited about is artist Brian Dubois' 237 AM studios that he's brought here to the city of Hazel Park. Brian is a furniture artist of great renown and he's chosen to locate his new studio here in Hazel Park. He's currently renovating one of our previously vacant buildings and we're so excited about the prospect of this turning into a new studio here in the city of Hazel Park. 237 AM studios I think started in 2000 right after I got out of undergrad from uh, Detroit Mercy. My bachelor's of architecture, I got my builder's license, started doing sort of small scale design build work. And every week something different, you know, but the end goal is being able to make products that have an interaction and can relate to kind of the domestic setting with 237 AM Studios and the Dubois Collection, which is kind of like my furniture product line I'm kind of developing. That's kind of like my passion. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for even more exciting news.